Hey loves, welcome back. My name is Kyle August and you clicked on this video. So you are going to be manifesting your specific person instantly. And honestly, before you even clicked on this video, you were 99% of the way to manifesting your specific person. We're just going to be making that last little 1% jump to your manifestation because manifestation is all about belief. Once you have a belief, you are a majority of the way there. Once you believe and know that you can have your specific person, literally, like I mentioned, you are 99% of the way there because knowing is believing and we can't manifest or do anything that we feel is impossible. So right now, if it doesn't feel possible to manifest your specific person, just know that's not true. You absolutely can. But that is something that we want to leap or push through in order to have massive changes in your reality. And like I mentioned in this video, to manifest instantly. Because once we have the belief, all of the work that was up to you is completely gone, right? Your subconscious is going to bring you down a state of divine guidance, taking you where you want to go. Meaning that once you have the knowing and belief that you can have your specific person and that you already do, your subconscious begins to change everyone and everything to match whatever your assumption is. And so then all we have to do is listen to and follow that divine guidance. It's basically like the the sounds of your reality telling you exactly what to do. And truly the only way to see or hear this divine guidance is to be in the state of it because when you are not, it's going to be completely hidden. And this is the exact reason why sometimes without the belief that we can have our specific person, someone can be doing techniques over and over and over again and doing it for months or years without seeing any results. Because if there is that belief or fear within your mind that you can't have your specific person, then you're more or less going to be blocking yourself and the divine guidance that takes you to your specific person, it's going to completely go over your head. But don't fear. Know that this is just totally not true. Your thoughts that you can't have your specific person are totally not real. You can have anything and manifest anything that you want. Again, once you get into this belief, then everything is taken care of. It sometimes also gets muted, our divine guidance. When we try to physically try really, really hard or take massive, massive action to change our reality. Basically, when we try to force it. Because think of the last time any time with your specific person that you attempted to force the situation. How did it go? Did it go the way we wanted or not so much? And through the years of coaching, I've been helping people. I have never found a time of forcing a reality to work out in our favor because that's like our logical mind is trying to go above and beyond our subconscious mind. But this should be fantastic news for you because then that means we don't have to try hard. You don't have to take a lot of action. You just have to be the person that has the belief that you can have your specific person or anyone from that matter because the word identity our identity is going to basically create, right? Who you feel you are is what is being reflected outside of you. And the word identity actually comes from Latin word of repeated beingness, which I know sounds funny. I don't know if beingness is an actual word, but the repeated beingness of something that creates your identity. So right now, are we repeatedly being someone who is single? Are we repeatedly telling ourselves that you can't manifest your specific person? This is how we're going to keep ourselves at this 99% and not able to jump to that 100% and manifest instantly. But then once we start to really feel, okay, I can do this because you can do this. 
anytime you think about giving up, know that there's only two options when it comes to manifesting. And that's either you manifest what you want, you get into the state of it, or you give up. Those are literally the two options. There is nothing that is outside your power and nothing outside your ability to manifest, literally. And so that is literally the secret to manifesting instantly. It is having the belief. And I guarantee you right now, you're probably thinking, Kyle, this seems too simple to be true. I've tried so many things. This can't be this simple, but it really is this simple. Once you have the belief, the path and knowledge to where you want to go, so manifesting your specific person is going to become obvious. It's going to become so easy, so effortless. Your specific person is going to start basically chasing you, pursuing you, trying to talk to you, be with you. It literally is a night and day switch, but without this belief, everything seems impossible, right? Whenever we're in a state that we can't have our specific person, that's what everything seemingly goes along, right? Because your divine guidance always wants to meet whatever your assumptions are. So if you assume and know, I can be with my specific person, they already love me, then that's how they show up in that way. But whenever we're like, I don't know, I don't think they can, I don't think they love me, I don't think they wanna be with me, I think my friends and family are right, I just should give up now, then that's actually, that thought process, that thinking, and that belief actually makes it impossible. And so to get into this belief, because you're probably like, okay, Kyle, <laughs> you're talking all of this, all of these ideas about getting into a belief, what does that mean? How do I get into that belief? And the first way to do that, and it's really, this could actually be the only thing that you need in order to do it. Remember that the concept of believing you can manifest your specific person is just as easy to believe or think about as the concept that you can't. So visualizing your future as not going the way you want, that's just as easy to do as imagine it go, imagining it going exactly how you want, right? Because everything outside of our awareness is within our 3D or is within our imagination, I mean. So it's not within the 3D. And by 3D, I'm just meaning things around you that you can see. And so basically, by our thoughts and our imagination of, again, what is your specific person doing right now? Are they thinking about you or are they not thinking about you? That's a choice that you are making and then your mind automatically goes to that point. In the same way that if you were walking down a wooded trail and you point to something in the distance and you're like, I'm going to walk towards that, your mind automatically follows and makes it so you arrive at that point. But the same thing is happening right here and right now. That's why, again, you're going to manifest instantly once you get into the belief of it. And you don't have to try or put in a lot of action in order to make this so. Because once you go, I'm with my specific person, they obviously love me, you've set that mental point. Like you're on that trail and you've set that point, that's where I'm going. And then your body takes over, your reality takes over, your subconscious takes over, and just makes it automatically happen. So more or less, if you're ever worried, can I manifest or can I not manifest? It's not a matter of if you can, it's a matter of if you want to, right? Those are your choices because right now you're making a choice with everything that you are thinking. Every moment in time, you are thinking, I, my specific person loves me or they don't love me. My specific person wants to be with me or my specific person wants nothing to be with me or nothing to do with me. My specific person wants to be in a relationship or my specific person wants to be friends. And all of those thoughts, all of those beliefs are just as easy to believe as the other. And you might say, okay, Kyle, I get that. But I actually feel like in my reality, my specific person only wants to be my friend. So how do I change that? I'm just being realistic, right? But that's not the case. When you imagine that your specific person only wants to be your friend, and I've seen this happen over and over and over again, and in this video, I'll also show you a way that you can manifest instantly. When you have this assumption, my specific person only wants to be my friend, everything they say and everything they do then becomes fitted 
under that cookie cutter of your assumption, meaning that if you think they only want to be friends, they could say, hey, would you like to hang out? And what's your mind going to do? You're going to, your mind is immediately going to go because you have the assumption they just want to be friends. Oh, they just want a friend date and I don't want to be just friends. So I'm not going right. But then you can see how this belief is then shaping our reality in a truly like quote unquote realistic way. I don't like to say realistic because literally everything is up to your assumption, but right now it probably is feels realistic to think about it that way. But if instead you were thinking my specific person loves me when they say, Hey, do you want to hang out? You're like, Oh my gosh, this is perfect. They're chasing me. They're pursuing me. This is amazing. And if you were to choose or think about either of those, how would you feel after each of these assumptions? The one of your specific person saying, let's hang out. Literally the same thing is happening, but the one when they say, let's hang out and you're thinking, yes, they're pursuing me. They're chasing me. You feel good. You feel awesome. You feel amazing. How are you going to show up on that date? So confident, so attractive, so positive, and so powerful, right? It's going to be automatic. I'm basically showing you exactly how divine guidance is going to go. But truly, we never have to worry about how our manifestation is going to show up. Divine guidance is going to do it for us. But if instead we show up in the opposite where we're thinking, my specific person just wants to be friends, so I don't want to hang out as friends, I'm not going we don't even show up <laughs> to the date at all. And how are we feeling? We're feeling frustrated. We're feeling mad or feeling worried, right? These are things I've literally witnessed people in coaching sessions manifest <laughs> from day and night, one day to the other, one moment to the next, switching this mindset and seeing a massive shift in everything that is happening. Because remember, manifestations don't always have observable effects, meaning that the bridge of events is working behind the scenes automatically. Right now, who is saying your specific person is not thinking about you and about to reach out? That's the level of power that um, that divine guidance or the bridge of events has. It literally is working right here and right now for you. Your specific person is thinking about you. Your specific person is about to reach out to you. Literally prove to me that they can't, right? And so that's the concept or basically the belief opening idea that then if you start to just ponder that, like, yeah, why can't my specific person be thinking about me right now? Why can't my specific person being desire or des can't be desiring me to be more than friends with them, right? Like all of that is capable and willing and has the ability within. So don't connect your success to things that are happening outside of you. Because again, we just talked about how we can accidentally misinterpret the concept of our specific person saying, would you want to hang out with me as being super positive or super negative based on our assumptions? And that's the idea that literally nothing outside of us is positive or negative. And I want to make a further video on that. But I did want to show you a success story from a coaching session that literally went night and day from one day to the next, <laughs> changing this belief and completely changing our assumptions. So this person and I, that I just put on the screen, uh, met up for a coaching call, and I'm gonna read it first, and I'm gonna go into detail the background. So they wrote, thank you. Guess who followed me on Instagram last night after our coaching call? A little bit of a story to it, but I do not want it. I do not care. I refuse to let my thoughts try to take away from my manifestation because I know I did that. And then they go on to discuss it even more. But this person <laughs> before this point was having this huge struggle of their specific person reaching out or following them on Instagram. And they had it was supremely affecting their inner state, their confidence, and their self-concept. But after meeting up for a call and basically talking about these same beliefs that we are discussing right here and right now, they literally went from one day to the next from their specific person. Again, I'll tell you the circumstances that they had were the same that you are having right now because their specific person was following third parties that they had in the past. And this was literally years of happening that all of a sudden changed overnight just with the belief. And I love that you can even see in, in the email 
their minds still not believing it. Like they're saying, but I do not care. I refuse to let my thoughts try to take the success away from me. Their thoughts are still like, oh my gosh, this is too good to be true. And when your reality does change that fast, your mind does do that. You start to think, is this too good to be true? This changed too fast. How can this be real? But that's literally the power of belief. This person was already 99% of the way there, and this belief is basically pushing them over to that 100. Their specific person, or with this concept, was able to manifest instantly. And again, when I tell you that this was something <laughs> that was bothering this person, they mentioned for months and I believe years, that's <laughs> it just adds to the level of power and the creation and control that you have on your reality just through a change in your thought. And I also, again, I like that concept that they talk about this like struggle of actually believing it in the email because this was the two people within their mind, right? Those two individuals we mentioned earlier of one seeing the text of do you want to hang out and the person assuming this means that their specific person is chasing them and then we have the other one assuming this means they just want to be friends. You can see the actual struggle in the email <laughs> of their mind of these two individuals because they were changing to the new state of their specific person or them feeling my specific person pursues me so obviously they would add me or follow me on Instagram and the other version of them saying, no, it's too good to be true. It can't be this. It can't be that. But that that's okay because we can have this struggle. These kind of thoughts don't manifest. It's our assumptions and our beliefs that manifest. So once you get into the belief that you can have your specific person literally right here and right now, you clicked on this video again, you know that you can manifest instantly. You're going to see whatever it is come into your reality instantaneously, whether it is them following you on Instagram or they're them giving you a marriage proposal. Literally, those are the same exact thing in the eyes of your higher self or your God state. Every single manifestation is the same. So do not forget that. If you know for a fact that you are manifesting your specific person instantly right here and right now, after leaving a thumbs up on this video, I want you to comment, I am manifesting my specific person instantly. And by literally just writing that, you are setting an intention and literally 99% of the way there to literally manifesting your specific person right here and right now. If you did have any questions as well, make sure to comment them down below right after you set that intention. If you did want to reach out to me on my website or reach me personally, send me a question, send me a comment, anything like that, reach out to me at kyleaugustcoaching.com. Thanks to all of the members that are supporting my channel. If you are a member, keep an eye out because I'm working on a way in our lives to literally have every single member achieve a manifestation like the success story I showed in this video instantaneously. Thank you so much again for stopping by, hanging out with me. I can't wait to hear your success story and I can't wait to see you in the next video tomorrow.